In week one of the Hopkinton Hillers winter sports season, Hopkinton took on Norwood. No defenders off uh, usually a bucket as laying it in is Elena Davies. In the JV girls basketball game, the Mustangs of Norwood had a 22-19 lead heading into the second half. Elena Davies helped get the offense going for the Hillers in the third quarter. Some water and then they back out at it again. Keeping the mojo moving. Nice finish there by Alexis Bruce. Over to Kane. Kane steps back, tries to launch a three. Good block there by Chorus. Leaves it over to Dacey. Drives in, up for the shot, and in she goes. Emma Dacey with six points for the Hillers. Having the lane. Over to the right corner, long two, got it. Elena Davies. Serene over to the right wing, up for three. Off the glass, no good. And it is collected by Davies. Davies works it up the lane, up and in with the right hand. Elena Davies, 16 points on the night, pulls the Hillers within four. Norwood outscored Hopkinton in the third quarter, 13 to 10, and the Hillers trailed 35 to 29 after three. But Elena Davies once again got things going in the fourth quarter. So it went off the defender, Jones lays it up and in. Big time layup by Shelby Jones and the Hillers have a two point lead with 4.07 left to go and a timeout called by Norwood. There you go, now they have to chip on this and sink it. Davies driving in, up with the hook shot and in plus the foul. Elena Davies, 20 points on the night. The Hillers defense held Norwood to two points in the quarter while Hopkinton added 11 points and took the game 40 to 37. Elena Davies had a team high 21 points in the game. Old Bryce trying to feed it up top, stolen away. Quick break for the Hillers to the rack, off the glass and in goes Lulu Murphy and she draws the contact. The second game this past Friday night was the varsity girls game. It was a back and forth first half. The Hillers led after the first two quarters, 20 to 19. Show up to Hedstrom. Great defensive effort by the Hillers. Murphy feeds it out to Cho, up for three. Count it! Lauren wow. Cho knocking it down. Oh boy. 16 to six Hillers. Hopkinton added another 12 points in the third quarter and outscored Norwood. 12 to 10 to increase their lead to three points. Here comes Cho. Round the defender. Good feed to the block. Up and in, Fossbender. The fourth quarter, however, was all Norwood. They outscored Hopkinton nine to four and would end up taking the game 38 to 36. Lauren Cho had a team high 12 points for the Hillers, while Kiki Fossbender added eight points. Lexi Trendle also pitched in with nine points of her own. After Hillers varsity boys hockey opened their season in Norwood with a five to one win, the Mustangs would get some revenge. Along the backboards, now there's a shot and it's put in. That is going to be Brian Mateo with the goal. This season, hockey is playing two 22-minute, 30-second halves rather than 15-minute periods. And the Mustangs poured it on in the first half, netting six goals. On the face off, it's Mira and Dittmere. Back over to Tolman. He sends it over to the far side. There's a shot and a goal by Kyle Ledger. Hopkinton did have one of their own goals with 129 left to go in the first. Top of the circle, there's a shot and it's in! In the five hole goes Joe Carazza! Norwood added two more goals in the second half and took the game eight to one. Owen Smith to the right block. Around the horn they go up to Wyatt, launches a three and he knocks it down. How about that, a pair of field goals for Wyatt Stevens, the sophomore. The Hopkinton JV boys met up with Norwood this past Sunday. Wyatt Stevens dropped nine points in the first quarter to help Hopkinton take a 14-7 lead. We'll have a, we have a whole lot of fun on that show. Talking about everything going on locally and 
nationally as well. Yeah, I don't think I did too well on my uh, doing too well on my picks. We'll have to take a look. Up for three and good is Kyle Bertucci Bissonette. Stevens dropped another 10 points in the second quarter as Hopkinton knocked down 22 points and took a 36 to 18 lead into the second half. Left corner, good ball distribution there by the Hillers. Desenroth up for the shot, no good. Swatted back out by Peters to Desenroth. Down to the left corner, up and in goes Wyatt Stevens. A long two from the corner. Norwood outscored Hopkinton in the second half, but it would not be enough. The Hillers would take the game 55-47. Wyatt Stevens scored a team-high 21 points for the Hillers. And this run, and we have a steal by Matt Cooper. Casper over to Sarapusco in the corner. Up to Cooper. Hands it back over to Keith. Drives the lane up with the right hand. And it's pulled down by DiPietro for the putback. He goes up and in, plus the foul, and and one. In the varsity game, Hopkinton cruised for 20 points in the first quarter versus Norwood. Over to Marazzini, he'll launch a three and knock it down. Back and forth we go. The Hillers outscored Norwood in the second quarter, 16 to 12. Anthony DiPietro chipped in for several points in the quarter. Pressure by the Mustangs. Paharic, Keith, back to Paharic. Over to Casper for three, no, a little short there, but up and in goes DiPietro. Karosh Fatahi knocked down a couple of field goals in the third quarter as both teams put up 13 points apiece. Second for Norwood, driving down, Fatahi around the defender, up and in with the right hand. Josh Sarapusco exploded for 10 fourth quarter points. Driving in, great feed to Sarapusco, and Sarapusco, the senior, finishes once again. The Hillers took the game 70 to 60. Josh Sarapusco had a team high 17 points. Anthony DiPietro dropped 13 points, and the Hillers' victory to split the series with Norwood at one game apiece.